Hi there, in this video, I will tell you how to install Tony IDE on Ubuntu desktop. The process I'm showing you here should apply to all variants of Debian and Ubuntu environments because we'll be using the terminal to install it. It's pretty straightforward using the package manager available on Ubuntu. Uh, it follows the Debian packaging style, so it's almost similar, seamless on all the Debian and Ubuntu based distributions. There's so many distributions based on Ubuntu, like we have the elementary OS, um, and uh, we also have Linux Mint and all of them, Pop OS. So in all of these distros, the process should more or less be the same. The first thing you wanna do is just select a terminal. And because I'm using the GNOME based Ubuntu, I think I click on the activities and click on type to search, and I'm gonna type Terminal. So when I type T I R T I T E R M I N, a partial word of it, you can see the terminal icon comes up. Just click on this, and it opens up your default Ubuntu terminal. In some of the desktops, the terminal might be available as a desktop icon, or also on your taskbar. You can click on them. If you're using a KDE-based setup, you can search for console K O N S O L E, right? So I don't have KDE desktop here, but it's all the same. Just open up the terminal and within the terminal, just, just move, resize the screen a bit so you can see it better. The first step is if you're not updated your desktop for a long time, you might want to first start off with doing an apt update. Okay, you might need to prefix sudo for this. This requires root user privileges. So just type sudo at apt update the first time. When you run this, It'll prompt you for the password. Just type in your password one more time. Assuming that you are an administrator user, I think this should work without any problem. Uh, there are often times where uh, when you do an update, it'll, uh, it'll show you a list of packages that you might want to upgrade. It's an option for it to upgrade packages to the latest version before you proceed. In fact, if you want to see what packages can be updated, as you see here, one package can be upgraded and it tells you what can be upgradable in here. You can just copy that and paste it here. Um, looks like there's not much. It looks like GNOME remote desktop. It's not very important, but you might get a lot of packages to be updated. Then it's a good idea to run uh, sudo apt upgrade. I'm not going to do that, to run that command in here, but I'll show you. So just type sudo apt upgrade all packages that needs to be upgraded will be done so it will prompt you for a question just type yes and the upgradation will take it so this can take this can take a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes right you can run to several minutes also sometimes based on how often you have been updating your desktop but once the update is done then the last step is what installs tony you could just type sudo apt install tony this is the command that you type the terminal once you type this command sudo apt install tony in my machine tony is already installed as you can see here but in your machine it might just try and download and install tony which will take maybe a few seconds once tony is installed you can just you can just try to launch it by going to activities or the search menu. Wherever you have the search menu, go to that search menu in your desktop and just type Tony. You should be able to see this icon based on the kind of desktop you use. Just click on this and this starts the Tony ID. The first time you launch Tony, it might show you a small dialog box. Uh, just click on the let's go button and you should be able to see this interface. So when you see this interface, this Tony interface, and you can also see a Python shell prompt in here to verify it's all working, you can just type import space sys and then sys.version. You can see the version being listed in here, the same version that you see in here too, right? So this shows how easy it is to install Tony using the package manager available for your Linux system. If you're using other Linux distributions like Arch Linux, you can use the Pacman package manager instead. You can just type Pacman space minus capital S and Tony. That will take care of downloading and install, installing Tony on Arch Linux. 
And if you're also using Fedora distribution, you should be able to use sudo dnf install tony. So these are the commands that you use. You might want to use sudo if you're not logged in as root user. So yeah, prefix sudo command before you install any packages. So this is straightforward. This is about it. Um, if you have any further questions, feel free to uh, ask me in the training sessions or on comments on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. So hope you have this setup installed on your system. Thank you.